Hi everyone, it's Mark here, and you guys are here today to learn all the chords contained within the key of A minor, so that you can hopefully compose your own songs, and also if there's any of these chords that you're not quite sure of, you've seen them on a tab website or something, um, then you can rest assured that you're going to learn them here now. Um, also, just a little point, um, if the uh, song that you're learning has an A minor at the start, then you'll probably find most of these chords are in there. Um, in this key there is going to be one bar chord, which is an F bar chord. I'm going to show you two ways of doing it, a slightly easier way and a little bit more tricky way. So if you're a beginner, then it might be easier to do the easy way first and then build your way up. All right? Okay, so the chords that you're going to be learning are these. A minor, obviously. Um, a B minor 7 flat 5. A C major. A D minor. E minor, F major, full one, half one, G major, and then back to A minor again. Okay. So hopefully none of those look too scary for you. Um, if they do, then just don't do them, and then do the easy way. It's all good. All right. Okay. What I'm going to do is just zoom in uh, to my um, fretboard area there, uh, so you can see what we're doing, um, fingering and strings wise. All right, here we are with the first chord, A minor. First finger on the second string, first fret. Second finger on the fourth string, second fret. And your third finger on the third string, second fret. It's a fifth string chord, you just strum from the fifth string downwards. Okay, and when you get more confident with that, you can put your thumb over the top and mute out this bottom string. Now watch out, when you bring your thumb over the top, it tends to move your fingers down like this, all right? Which can then mute. So you just gotta make sure that your fingers stay at a 90 degree angle to the fretboard. Otherwise, you're all good. Now, the next one is a B minor seven flat five. Now, you probably won't see this in many songs, but it's worthwhile learning it anyway, um, because it's just one of those chords that you never know you might need, all right? Now, the good thing with this chord is it's a movable chord shape. So at the moment, that's a B note there. That's the root note of the chord. You can move it around. It sounds pretty cool, all right? So what we do is you put, put our first finger here, you can put that flat um, on the second fret from the fifth string downwards if you wanted to. It's not necessarily, it doesn't have to be a full bar. Your second finger can then go onto the uh, fourth string on the third fret, and little finger, uh, sorry, third finger on the second string, third fret. You just don't play the top string, that's all, and the bottom, bottom string either, all right? Okay, so that's that one out of the way. If, if you didn't want to learn that, then that's fine, all right? Next chord is a C major chord. You'll definitely see this with an A minor in the key of A minor, all right? So actually, you just do an A minor chord, go back to the A minor one, and it's really easy to change from A minor to C. Take your third finger off from A minor, and then you plunk it on the uh, fifth string, third fret. Then the other two fingers, those two, stay exact, sorry, those two, stay exactly the same. Again, it's fifth string root note, thumb over the top if you can. Happy days. And then we change to a D minor chord, which is this one here. This is slightly different. It's your first finger on the top string, first fret, second finger on the third string on the uh, second fret, and your third finger on the second string, third fret. And then this is a fourth string root note chord. And then we do an E minor, which is um, open every string except for the fifth and the fourth, and these are second fret on the fifth and fourth string. And then we get to this F chord. Now the easy version is where you put your first finger flat over two strings, first and second string, on the first fret. And then your second finger on the third string, third fret. And your third finger here on the uh, fourth string, third fret. So that's an F chord. Shouldn't be too bad. The, the only problem here a lot of people tend to have is trying to um, bar those two strings. But persevere and you will get there. And then to make that full bar chord to get some bass in there, you then bar the all six strings on the first fret. Still put your second finger here on the third string on the second fret, third finger here on the fifth string this time on the third fret, and then your little finger here on the uh, fourth string on the third fret. Okay, so that's the full F chord. Again, if you fancy it, just do the you know just just do the four string version until you're confident with that and then build up to that. 
there, in, incidentally, there um, is a video on my website, that's www.randallsonguitar.co.uk, um, that goes through a full um, explanation of to how, as to how to do a full bar chord shape, like that, okay? Then the next one is a G chord. Good old friend, the G chord, all right? Uh, what, what we do here is we put our first finger here on the fifth string, second fret, second finger here on the bottom string, third fret, open fourth and third string, and then you put your third finger on the third fret on the second string, little finger on the third fret on the top string. Nice full G chord. Okay, so those are all the major and the minor chords contained within the key of A minor. Um, you should find most of those chords in, in any song that is in the key of A minor. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And don't forget to like my website. If you're not uh, seeing this video on my website, then go to www.randallsmanguitar.co.uk and there's a like button up there. Uh, don't forget to click that. And also, uh, don't forget to subscribe to me on YouTube and you can follow me on Facebook, which is Mark Randall from Guitar Tuition. I'll see you there. Cheers, guys. Bye bye for now.